In the final clip of this question and answer week, I want to answer some questions I received on the exam. What to expect? Well, the exam consists of 100 multiple choice questions. Each question has, just like the weekly practice questions, three possible answers, only one of which is correct. I've tried to make the questions comparable to what you're used to, so I don't expect any surprises there. The topics are, of course, everything that we discussed in the weekly lectures. And just to avoid misunderstanding, that also includes this week's content. The contents of the little box of nuance, however, are not part of the exam. I will ask you to define concepts, name theories and models, uh, mention important scholars, technological innova innovations, uh, pick the correct approach that fits one particular statement, all of these things. Basically everything that we practiced. Well, I recommend that you use the text files we have made available of the lecture transcripts and the practice questions. I'm sure they will come in handy. You have one week to fill in the exam. Um, you'll have to look on our website for the final date to submit the exam. Your certificate with your grade will be emailed to you within three weeks. And I want to stress again that to get a certificate next to the exam, you also have to submit our weekly practice questions. So if you joined our course later or you haven't submitted them yet, make sure you still do. Just something else. I can imagine it's very tempting to use offline or online help while making the exam. But I strongly recommend against this. As you know, your certificate and grade is solely for yourself. It does not give you university credits and is not comparable to our regular, uh, regular certificates. It is a certificate of participation, an indicator of your interest in our field and your personal commitment and dedication to follow this course through. Therefore, make it a real reflection of your knowledge and understanding of our course contents. I'm sure you will value it more that way. In week eight, I will present a behind the scene look on our MOOC. It's about why we made this course, how we made it, who made it, things we learned on the way, who you are, what you thought of our course according to the survey we sent out, and what future improvements might be. Also, we'll talk about the exam, how well you did and how many people finished the entire course within our set time frame. I wish you good luck for next week.